Big Boy Big Neighborhood. All righty now. Future, welcome to the neighborhood, hey. bro. What's going on? Maintain it, man. I want to tell you straight up. When they first said that you was going to get on my schedule, you know I thought they were lying, right? <laughs> we all I did. I really think they was lying. Be, be, you, you know why? Because you live <laughs> on stage yeah. uh-huh. and right. you live in our screens. Yes. You know what I'm saying? And as many times as I've seen you, you always been good with me, but I think this is the first time that we sat down with each yeah. other. Right. They what? always, they said, man, you got to do interviews. So I was like, man, I'm down for it. Yeah, okay. yeah. It sounds bad when you say they said you yeah, got to do it. interviews. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I, I would rather really you hear. say, uh, they, they I, I told them I wanted to do Big Boy's show. <laughs> That's how it should be. Yeah, yeah. No, no, but Big Boy, you family. You know what I'm saying? You, you make that. everyone comfortable. Oh, thank you, man. Good. Thank you, brother. There so you, you do know my work, huh? No, nah, no. Nah, love your work. You're OG in the game. Thank period. you, bro. Hey. Thank oh. you. Thank you, man. Well, uh, is there anything you want to ask me before we get the, into the interview? Like, is there anything that's been so burning? Your, like, yeah, dying like, like, your head. Because I know it's been a passion of yours to come in <laughs> and hang out with me. Bucket list. It's whatever, you know what I'm saying? Is there anything you want to ask me that's on your bucket list? Like... Uh, no. Nah. Okay, okay, we talk about it personally. <laughs> After, let, let, let's talk about you right now. Now, first off, man, we got to say once again, just congratulations on all the success. Mm-hmm. Yeah, thank you. And you are in nothing but competition with yourself. Nonstop. You. you know what I'm saying? So what, what's going down 2019? Uh, we, we, I mean, we wake up and there's always a project. What, what's going down with you right now? 2019, my album coming out January 18th. So that's first. And then a documentary coming out uh, January 11th. Yeah. But besides that, I'm just dropping the music. And what is the documentary as well? Uh, the documentary just about me is they've been following me for like seven years. So. Oh, wow. That's a Throughout long time. seven years, the cameras follow me. Like my kids, they like one years old and they seven and nine right now. Did you somebody. know when they were following you that you were doing a documentary or was it more just like At first it things? started off as like a series and then it started going on after they followed me for like two years and they followed me on another tour. At first it started on, I forgot my first tour, but it was like the Purple Rain tour. And then after the Purple Rain tour, I went on like Summer 16. They were following me mm-hmm. Summer 16. Then after Summer 16, they was following me on Nobody's Safe. So after that, it was like we just make it in, into something. Is it crazy to see that? Have you have you seen it in its entirety yet? I haven't seen it. Oh. Have man. you seen a lot of the, cl- like any of the clips? Like I've from- seen the clips. <sighs> I've seen the clips. They was from a long time ago. I'm like, wow. Damn. <laughs> Does it change your perception on your journey thus far? Oh, it just helped me to stay focused because mm-hmm. even then I didn't know I was going to be here. Mm-hmm. But once you have that tunnel vision, so many things that come along the way and so many just come and just try to stop you from going to the next level or going to the next step or whatever you have to do that you just got to keep going. Mm-hmm. Keep How no do attention. you do that when when we're in, we, we're now in gotcha mode, we're now in want to see everybody burn and destroy. Yeah. Yeah. How do you not get so caught up in that? For one, your social media, you fight back. So, uh, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's not like Let you... Not, it's, not even, it's not even me trying to fight back. It's just me being me. Because if you try to do something that you think is cool and then everybody end up back, it end up backfiring on you hmm. in the wrong way, then you, you you put yourself in a bad position. But anytime I speak out, I'm just speaking out being myself. I speak from a good place. Mm-hmm. I always have... I don't have ill intentions with no one or no anything that I do. So I know God, and my, my he, he recognized that. So he always put me in great positions, even when it's a bad position. Right, right. Yeah, there's there's always a, a different or a way you can have an outcome that you're like, yeah. oh, okay, I learned from that. That's tuition yeah. to the school of experience. You can learn from different situations. It's not, you make, like, you can be careless sometimes, you know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, you know how to maneuver and you know how to get past it. Are you heavy on social media? Like, do you, do you read into any of the, if there's any comments or? I haven't other- read comments in years. Yeah. That's like, good. So, oh, okay, really so you didn't good. see when I was trying to get at you in the, like in DMs, like, hey, man, future. we need to do a song together, like, Future. <laughs> yeah, like, somebody do that. I got friends, like, my, my best friend, um, she actually have my Instagram. So she have everything, my Instagrams or whatever, whatever. But at the end of the day, I don't read comments. It's like, it's not the Why issue. Why not? I just never did it. Yeah. So mm-hmm. I only just want to get caught up in it. Like, you know what I'm saying? I would think that, and not that, you, like, I don't read comments as well. You know what I'm saying? Because they're going to say whatever. You want them to say whatever. But you look you. a lot better than I do. <laughs> I don't read them because <laughs> I don't want to see what people are going to be saying about me. There's a, there's a total difference. They're going to say of, some crazy things about me. Mm-hmm. But it is, don't matter what they say because you got to think about it. They, it's people that say, it. wherever they at, I don't know them. They don't know me. Yeah. They don't understand my life. So why am I just be. Saying a comment, coming back at them. Uh, Playing tennis with them. When I speak, them. it's speaking on people that under, they probably know me. They're trying to say certain things about me that's not true. And I'm speaking from right, my right, right. You know what I mean? With the album on its way, who can we expect to hear on this album? I don't really have features. Okay. There, to not do too many features. I probably have like one feature. There was features. a rumor that it was Drake. Is that true? Nah, nah. Okay. Right now. Would you tell us if it was? 
Yeah. Okay, okay. Okay. Cool. Because we go we go way back. <laughs> We're not way back. We took a picture like last year, year before last. You know what I'm saying? Now, go ahead, love. How do you select who you collaborate with? I was about with? to say that. Who gets the feature? Dep- it just depends on how the, the feel of the album. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Do you get a lot of people, even when you just walk in, that say, man, we need to work together? How, how do you pick and choose who you work? Is, is it just that feeling or you know like? It just happened organically. You know what I mean? We might be in the same city at the same time and we at the same studio and we just get a chance to work. Is there anyone that, and you don't have to say the name, but is there anyone that's been hitting you up to work with you and you say like, man, I'm not going to work with that person? Uh, nah, nah, nobody hit me up that I said I wasn't going to work with. Okay, okay. I was going to tell you to say it. I was going to tell you to write it down. <laughs> I would have said it, you know? Nah. So is it different going into into your projects now, being that we do have a catalog from Future? Is it is it competition with yourself or you just kind of still yeah, going? Def- definitely competition with myself. You know what I mean? They're just trying to... Uh, but even with competition with myself, it's just like the work I already been put in. Now mm-hmm. it's just about me maintaining. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? I already got everything is already set for me. Like I, I raised the bar to, for myself, even for myself. I took it to a level that I, I, I didn't expect. So mm-hmm. at this point, you know what I'm saying? I'm in. Um, this is my last album out of my last deal. This is the deal that I started. Mm-hmm. This is my last album, so wow. it's gonna be finished. Yeah. So what do you do once you get out of the so-called record label situation? Is is it all just future after that? I already had another deal planned, so it's, it's kick in right, right after this deal stop. So, even with that, it's already set. So whatever I do, I'm already got. It's like guaranteed money. I got mm-hmm. a basketball contract. Yeah. Oh, okay. Wow. So you're gonna be good then. It's a different kind of contract, but I'd have worked for it. You know what I'm saying? I've been in the game for ten years. I done did seven albums. It's like my seventh album. So when they made the deal, when we get, we did the deal, it was a great deal. Speaking of just life. being in in ten years and mm-hmm. seventh album. Like we're in a business now where you kind of here today, gone tonight. How does how did future? How does one not get caught up in the, you know, I'm done with that person because we're real fickle. We're now. not chasing the hype. Mm-hmm. You're chasing that high and want to be the man all the time. You know what I'm saying? Just wait for your time to come back around and just keep working. But you got your own lane too. Definitely. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like like, and, and it's crazy because when you hear future, I know that that's future. Mm-hmm. Right. And even when I felt like. Like, you know, there was future sound alikes. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, right. they're just a sound that you have that should be untouchable. You know what I'm saying? And, and I think that that's why you're in a position where we only get one. Mm-hmm. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? And every time we go to the well, we got to go to the go to your well to drink it. You know what I mean? Yeah, and even with the music, the tempo, because I was just to the tempo and I was scared to put crushed out. I was like, mm-hmm. man, the tempo is crazy. But like you say, me having my own lane. It helps it. So when I put it out, the music just shifts towards me. Now everybody want to do this kind of sound. Why? Why did you do that? Because I just want to see: can I do it? Like, am I am I that like am I that untouchable? Like you saying, do I really have that power? Do I really am I really that dude mm-hmm. that just just stay in my and that I have my own lane, my own substance of music, my own way of doing things? So if I do it my own way, they're gonna gravitate towards. Easy call. It. Does it frustrate what? you when? When fans don't want their favorite artists to grow or evolve or try new things, uh, it don't frustrate me because they're just people just having their opinion. Mm. Mm. Everyone have their opinion, but that's why I say you got to have tunnel vision. One thing, things might be not going right for you today because you you know it's the end of the light. Like you got to think about four months from now. So mm-hmm. all your moves, they can't see your moves right away. Mm-hmm. So in 2018, they don't see what I'm doing for 2019. So they're like, man, what is he doing? What is he doing? They don't mean make a move just because. You get antsy and the people are just not patient yeah. enough and you make the wrong move. You got to wait. You know what I'm saying? It's patience. Was there any pressure on you as an artist being that you grew up around the Dungeon family and yeah, how man. did that have an influence on you? I cross-branded myself where I didn't brand myself as Dungeon family mm-hmm. at the beginning because everybody was going to be like, oh, the only reason he's here because of his cousin mm-hmm. and this and that. Yeah. So I just made my own name and Dungeon family just something to add towards the repertoire. It, it took a minute before I even knew that Rico Wade, like, like and it wasn't like, oh, presents. Mm-hmm. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Like, or you you get you get ushered in. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, I wanted to be a success story, like something that build up and it just get new every time you talk to me. Something new, you find out something new about me. Instead of when you first come in the game, you get everything on the plate from the Dude, beginning. Rico Wade and cats from the Dungeon family, yeah. do they look at you right now and be like, God damn? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Rico Wade, they just like he like a father figure to me. You yeah, know what I'm and that's my cousin. That's my blood cousin. But at the end of the day, we have we haven't even worked on music. I Everything know, right? Music. How come? That's so interesting. 
I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I but, but I respect them more than yeah. anybody. Like that's my my daddy. You and know then what there's a new there's new deals coming too. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, there's, my, there's new deals coming. Like he always support me. He always there. He in the studio. He came to the studio, listened to the music. He always there. Like so he's there whenever I need him. What's yep. some of the best advice that he's given you? Uh, man, he just said, "Tell me, keep doing you. Like stay doing you, no matter what, good or bad. Mm. It's working." Mm-hmm. Yeah, yes, it is. Show the hell is working. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm got to figure out how things are gonna start working for me. You know, because we in a new we year, need to talk man. To Rico. And I was at, yeah, yeah. Can you get Rico on the phone? <laughs> we need some advice. You've been here. working for us a, a long time. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But you know, I've only been in. Uh, in I've the been radio. in. I've been in radio 25 years. I'm celebrating 25 See, I was years. A, I was a baby. Yeah, yeah, man. And, and I, it took me this long. I had to wait around to get this interview. <laughs> Back in the days, people used to tell me, like, man, when are you going to be did done? did an interview with everyone in the game. But I, no, but I would tell people. They would say, man. Literally, right? He probably did an interview with Grandmaster Flash. <laughs> oh, don't you dare. Stop. I have. <laughs> yeah. but, but, but you know what's crazy? I would tell people, they say, man, what's the one interview you haven't gotten yet? And I'd say, man, Oprah Winfrey mm. and Future. Wow. I got Future. Right there. Yep. Nice. Normally, that's mine. Nah. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Have you met I Oprah think we yet? Did an no, an you know, we did an interview. I think. If we did an interview, it wasn't sit down. It was real quick. You know what right. I'm saying? Like, I remember the Khaled thing when we were out um, on the boat. You mm. know what I'm saying? Right. I remember that. We went to the show. That's we took fancy. pictures together. You know what I'm saying? Do you remember those pictures? Nah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to tell you straight you up. Hold cruise, on, let me get this in the clear. Yes. Let me get this in the clear. That's kind of fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I'm going to take it. You know what I'm saying? So so taking that picture with me, Future, that wasn't like a moment for you? Yeah, it's always a moment anytime you come around you. Oh, okay, thank you, man. <laughs> <laughs> you falling in. Future, your Free Wishes Foundation, why is that something that's important for you? It's always good to give back because I feel like anytime you're in a position when you have success and just giving back. You just like, it's a charity thing. I love it. It's something I want to do. It's come from my heart. Mm-hmm. It ain't nothing like somebody has to force me to do. It's something I want to do. I want to do it. I take pride in doing it. You know what I'm saying? I just think that so many people don't get to see that side of many artists. You know, like a lot of people like to talk about all the bad stuff and never look into like what they do and giving back to their communities. But those are not the people that's paying you. So mm-hmm. this don't even matter. That's why I say like the comments and things and certain things, people are just so in tune with they don't it don't matter because once you give them back that person understand they mm-hmm. feel that mm-hmm. that's the life you're trying to change you ain't trying to give i don't want to give something to you expecting the big boy to be happy about it right right right, right. Like do do you feel like like because some people they do kind of say i i did it i made it out i'm good you know what i'm saying as mm-hmm. opposed to continuing to to turn back was there was there any time growing up that you seen like not either assistance or you saw somebody you was like, man, like that that person really came back for us too. Uh they came back came back and worked Yeah, just, just like it, it was there somebody that was instrumental in in making sure that you were good as well. Because you touch a lot of people. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? And growing up with me, I touch a lot of people now. But also growing up for me, you know, we were homeless. We had to go to food programs, you know what I'm saying? Right. Or just being cut from a certain cloth. You just see that people continue to need you. Yeah, like, but I'm just like from from when I'm when I grew up, my uncle used to take care of me. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? My uncles, my grandmother, they was hustlers. Mm-hmm. So they always used to take care of me, make sure I was good. Or I have new shoes, or you know what I'm saying? It's like when my uncle when he went to jail, my shoes probably my shoe game fell off. Damn, my <laughs> shoe game fell off. <laughs> <laughs> like, Unc, how long you got? Like, damn. Yeah, he might get a friend or something, pull up, give me some <laughs> shoes or whatever. But when he got back, when he got out of jail, he always kept me fresh until I got like 13. He was like, man, you got to hustle on your own. Yeah. How did you? How did you? When you did hustle, how did you not get extremely caught up? Because we, because uh, even with me, you have your foot in, in and out. You, you mm-hmm. know enough. You know what I'm saying. How but did I you... was extremely caught up. Mm. I was extremely caught up, caught up at one time, one point in my life. You know what I'm saying. Then when it just it stopped, it, it didn't happen anymore. So I just moved on. Had you always been musically inclined? Like, you, had you always enjoyed it? I always enjoyed enjoyed music and just had a passion for music. Did you know that you were going to be an entertainer? I didn't know I was going to be an entertainer. I didn't know. I thought I was going to do something, being an entrepreneur, like just do something with fashion or just have my own store. I always wanted to just be an owner of my own store. What did you do before we knew Future? You know what I'm saying? Like, like we know Future now, and it's like, oh, man, we know the catalog, we know the hits, we know the tours. What about, was there any other jobs that somebody could say, oh, I worked at Foot Locker with him? Or I... uh, man, when I was 14... 
for the summertime, I had I was sneaking in and I had I was uh, I lied about my age, said I was sixteen, said I was, and I was uh, what that is a bad boy, damn. For a grocery store. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, 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 you figured like yeah, no. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Sing it to a yeah. you know like three, I did it for like three weeks, and then oh. I made my money and I went and got and me flipped some it. work. <laughs> Hello, <laughs> future. When you go to record, do you hear the hit before we hear the hit? Uh, it just happened as I go along when I'm making a song because I'm usually just freestyling it. I just hear the beat, just go along, just start. Did Did you know like let Let's say like mask off five times platinum mm. and counting. Do you know that that record is going to be what it is? We didn't. I didn't know Mask Off was going to be a hit because we wasn't going to put it on the album. Oh, Damn! Goodness. How did it get on the album? Man, I didn't know after that. After it was already like number one, that's when I found out. Oh, so y'all kind of released it as just now. We here put, it is. We put it on the album because it was the only album that it was. Oh. It was on, the only song on my album that wasn't um, that didn't have the track out version. Mm. So when we was picking out my A and R. He was telling me he was like. We're not gonna put any songs on the album if it's not tracked out. Damn. So I didn't never know it wasn't tracked out. And then we found out it had a sample in it. Oh, like, okay. So you thought it was gone for real? It. Yeah, I'm like it had a sample, but it was already a number one record by that time. Explain to to me what tracked out means. As far as is that? It's like you got the snare, you got yeah, the yeah, bass, yeah, yeah. you got it all tracked out like on separate tracks. So it mm. almost didn't make it. It almost didn't make it. Damn. That's crazy. And so who has the final? Like, okay, it's on or. At the time, that was my A and R. He had the, uh, the final say, so he just put it on. Damn. I didn't know. And then d- now, do you like, hey, come here? I was yeah, like, I'm listen to all these. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Don't don't thank him too much though. You know what I'm saying? We don't want him to yeah, feel yeah, like he nah, did nah, more nah. than what we we know the size of it. But you know, man, people always feel like when they get credit, they feel like that was your life. Your right, life yeah, 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 yeah. Your life wouldn't be your life if they <laughs> like, didn't do this. <laughs> like, man, do you know how many hit records you got? <laughs> like, like, man, mask off. But, but at least you acknowledge. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. At least you acknowledge. Just, I, I just say don't give too many, don't give them too much. You know what I'm saying? Man, I acknowledge everyone because I know the work I put in. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And you, like, you just give credit when credit do. How much do you enjoy being future? It seems fun. It's wow. Yeah, I know. <laughs> He's I know. Laughing. It's fucking wow. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Explain. Wow. It's fucking wild. Explain what what does that mean? Man, it's hard to explain. Yeah. It's a lifestyle. You want me to just go with you? And it's a lifestyle. <laughs> it's definitely a lifestyle. It's crazy. And it's it's like being misunderstood. Mm. 50-50. 50-50. Like 50, 50% people, of people misunderstand me. Basically, damn near 75% think I'm some totally different way than I am. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Off perception and off image. And at the time, I embraced it because right, right. it was like, I didn't want to change your perception of me. I just got to embrace it and become because I become, I become, I, I fear it and I don't want to fear anything. So anytime you fear something, you just want to become, you're going to get over your fears. So I embrace the people, but that person that you might think I am because I feel like that's what's just going to carry me on. I'd be like, damn, that's a crazy way to think. But it's just like doing such songs like Real Sisters and mm-hmm. Same Damn Time. Like you got two sisters at the same time. You got these girls, 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 girls. And you be like, now I'm becoming that image because right. that's what you love about me. If I say I'm in love, nobody will like it. I hear you. Are you, know you in love saying? right now? Nah. Okay, that's good. That, that, that was a check. But I'm saying, no, no, it's just like you got to gravitate. You got to, if you do, you got to do it and they got to understand <laughs> this shit real. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You did say, though, that you sacrificed true love to live the lifestyle that you could never thought you could imagine. Yeah. Do you think that one day you will be able to fall in love, though? One day. One day. It's just so hard right now with me and my. My career, my like my career now, is like everyone have a motive. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? Like mm-hmm. I could pick a girl. I want to. I could pick a regular girl and be like, I want to be with her. She already got a motive because I always. It's like me reaching, going back. I go back a step. You might be going starting your career. My career already right. started. So now everything that you do in your life automatically becomes. I have to take care of it. I got to mm-hmm. do this. I got to do that. So it's just like, do I want that for my life? You know what I mean? Or do mm-hmm. I just want to take care of me and just. Say whatever I do is whatever I do. You know what I'm saying? Because anybody that I be with, I'm gonna have to do the same yeah. thing anyway. But then even if you date someone that has such a high profile and image then it like becomes yourself, that. it beca- the world is so involved in that relationship Man, too. I, like a high profile, I wouldn't even I wouldn't even be interested in mm-hmm. that. And that's the came to me. Yeah. Mm-hmm. If it came to me, then it's cool. But I don't just go and look for it, like, oh, that's a girl I like. I'm gonna go try to see what part of shit. Like I'm not chasing mm-hmm. it. 
Because I understand when I want something real, I don't want this fake, like, oh, all the time we happy is when we post pictures. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah all yeah. the time we happy is when people come in and on mm-hmm. out. They like, when well, the camera's off, y'all mad at each other. Take it from a man that's extremely happily married. Extremely. But take take this advice. Don't do it. What? <laughs> hey, what are you talking about? No, I'm saying don't do I'm extremely happily married. You're extremely but I happy gotta live through you. <laughs> yeah, I gotta live through you. You know yeah. what I'm saying? We gotta have. We gotta have. A, gotta a, a, I'm living life. Yeah, <laughs> I'm. You know, I'm living life, but you living the best life. Yeah, I'm living the best life. <laughs> now let me. Like, this is my life. This is my only life. This man, I come from nothing. I'm enjoying this mm. shit. Yeah, as you should, man. Continue to throw your dick a party too. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, I gotta stop. <laughs> you gotta stop throwing your. I gotta stop, man. I gotta. Why? I gotta retire. How come? Because retire everybody, like though? I say, every, every girl, every Are girl be that having up? that different motive. Man, y'all the kids keep. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Every girl have different motives, man. You like, it's crazy. Does like, it hurt your feelings? feelings? Yeah, it hurt my feelings. <laughs> what, what, what do you mean? Wait, does it hurt what? your feelings? Well, You're right. It do hurt my feelings. <laughs> what? I don't he understand. To be tricked into he, something, you hurt your feelings. Yeah. yeah, man. To have to keep on doing that. You when you when you were you in uh just. Caught up in the lights, the cameras, and mm-hmm. you probably a little high. And people, and, 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 and people take advantage of that. See, yeah. He wants someone who is like, I want you to like me because I'm funny or because I'm like sweet or your yeah, personality. Yeah, exactly. He's like, I already look good. He's like, yeah, yeah. But I want the that. personality. Mm, I don't know, man. Like, yeah, just, but I really don't even care about that at this time. Yeah, do what you're doing, bro. It is like I'm having fun. Yeah, yeah. yes, you should be. Yeah. I just like... I just like what I like, you know oh. what I'm saying? And at the time, I was oh, just like, it's my bad. I'm just having Sorry. fun. Oh, oh, hold on for a second. What's going on, baby? Oh, man, you just had another child. <laughs> <laughs> Congratulations to you, man. You sitting Hendrix. up here. <laughs> Hendrix. Yeah. Hendrix is on this the way. Dude nah, Hendrix, my son. <laughs> my son was December Hendrix. Yeah, but I'm talking about today. I'm looking at the uh-uh. just right now. No, not mine. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, okay. They want some that's, money. That's, they want money. So, so that's H- money. Hendrix is number huh? six. six. Yeah, six. I heard that. So you got you a little Brady Bunch then, brother. Oh, um, it was, it was one girl. Oh shit! Shoot, man. Do, God bless me. Is Hendrix the last, or you think Hendrix the last? Well, no, no, nah, Hendrix not the last. I got. I, I got to. Man, I gotta have more kids. Oh, Why? How many more, more girls? No. Nah, you want yeah. the one princess. I just want one princess. Aww. Yeah, man. Better yeah. for her. It, it, it's, it's totally different when we raise them babies. Huh? I don't want no girls. <laughs> I got one girl. I Why do you me. think you you would want more? Man, me and my boys, we like best friends. Like this. Yeah, I hear you. It's unbelievable just watching you. If I put yeah. seven seconds on the clock, could you name all your kids in seven seconds? Yeah. I don't need my seven seconds. Dang he, it. They're in his head right now. <laughs> he's like, he's like come on, do it. <laughs> but you know what? I come from a family of seven. You right. know what I'm saying? And we don't have families like that mm-hmm. anymore. It's a pot. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, like, and, and it seems like you enjoy, you enjoy your kids. Yeah, I enjoy my kids. I'm building my legacy. Like, I hustle for my last name. You got to understand, when you have a girl, they give away your last name. Right. Mm-hmm. My sons, I'm just thinking about, man, we got all our last names. It's just going to be huge. Huh. Then when, like, 50 years, 60 years from now, you're going to speak of me. You're going to speak of my legacy, and that's what you do. What, this is what I work for. Why would you work have all this and have all this success just to leave it with one kid and then mm-hmm. something happened and you just, it's no, it's no more of y'all. You got to keep making hit records though. Man, I got it. Yeah. But that's why I have so much music like and so many businesses and so much going on for myself. It's just building my foundation up, building my legacy up, but also building my kids up, remaining. They keep, they keep, keep everything going. You Future, know how old is your oldest? My oldest son, sixteen. Okay, so he know like mm-hmm. like he know pops like. Mm-hmm. Yeah, my oldest son, sixteen. I had him when I was seventeen. Oh, okay, so but he know like <laughs> like Does he, he know the people? power of his dad. Yeah. yeah, he know the power, but he he like he understand that you got to make your own way. Mm. Like you sixteen, you still got to make all A's and B's in yes, school. Yes, sir. Mm-hmm. And I didn't go to school. I hear you, but yeah. I still want you to go to school. Yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Like that's just. It is what it is. Like I was in the streets. I don't want you to be in the streets. Yeah, and, I did and you certain don't things. To. I don't want you to. Like I didn't. You didn't have to. You don't have to. You came up spoiled. You got everything you want. Like you know what I'm saying. You. I'm gonna buy you your car. I bought my first car. So it's just like you living a different lifestyle. But you still gotta understand. It's so much that you gotta carry on. Like I built this up. You gotta make sure you prepare for it. So I'm trying to prepare you for it. If you're not prepared, then it just go to the next kid. There's no favoritism. Like oh. it's all about A's and B's, schoolwork, and just to make sure you can keep this legacy going. What if he wants to go into the music industry or any of your kids? 
If they want to go in the music industry, he probably have to do it on his, he probably have to do it on his own and me mm-hmm. take him serious for me to take him serious. Mm. Would you be offended if they like didn't if they wanted to fully distance themselves with from you and like or change their name or or not hold does that make change sense? Change their name, change what name? I don't know, just like change anything like so just so that people don't put that on them the the, the shadow like we see LeBron like, and like his yeah, kids. The LeBron James yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. like, you know what I'm saying man I love my kids and their name <laughs> yeah 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 <laughs> like, like, going nowhere. they ain't not changing he's their like, name he's like I won't help you but don't change your <laughs> name yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, change their name but they not I don't feel like my kids you gotta understand my kids character they not gonna wanna change their name no mm-hmm. yeah I hear you they are their name yeah hmm. where did you get the name Future from uh, just me being around older cats and they were just calling me future like oh you the future you the future mm-hmm. I was the youngest did you ever have any other kind of name before we, you settled on future um, now you know I grew up as meat like everybody from my neighborhood called me meat spell it meat M-E-A-T oh like, damn yeah. M E A. Oh, I'm not gonna even ask that. <laughs> Can somebody else ask that? I'm like, why? Why meet? <laughs> nah, nah. It was it's just a nickname. You know, okay, everybody okay, have a nickname. Cool. You know, my <laughs> teachers call me my nickname. Oh, okay. You know, when you from the hood, everyone have a nickname. <laughs> right. You're not from the hood if you don't have a nickname. <laughs> right. Yeah, Period. my nickname. Uh, 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 I won't even go. To my... <laughs> Future. When it comes to trap, who is you're the goat pregnant, right now? No, oh, okay. I'm not pregnant. All right. So you sitting next to him. I didn't know what was going to happen. From the trap, who the goat? Yeah. Now. Mm-hmm. Wow. I don't know. What you mean by who the goat now? Who is the goat in trap right now? What That's what I mean. Trap? Who is trap? What you mean? From what? The music or money? I would say, oh, that's a good difference, but no, music. Oh, music? Um, Man, I'd give it to Lil Baby. Okay. Mm. Lil Baby and Gunna. Would mm. you consider yourself up there? Yeah, of course, man. I already did what I did. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I did what I did. I done been the trap goat. He's like, I'm, he like, I'm solidified. You know yeah, what I'm saying? solidified. Like, they like, right now, they them dudes. You know what I'm saying? They the young. They supposed to be, they mm-hmm. the next dude to get the new deals, the new money, the new this, the new that. Like, woo, 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 whatever it coming towards them, you know what I'm saying? Supposed to be hitting the new R&B chick, the new baddest chick mm-hmm. in the game. The new, I done did mm-hmm. all that. Why well, I'm going to be trying to taste what they doing? <laughs> hey, man, well, like, you, you know don't know understand saying? how you like, just yeah. be dropping yeah. jewels like like it ain't nothing. Like, yeah, you know. Like, like, what yeah, do I they have that. to do yeah. to, for, to have the long... That's why long... I say you get caught up in chasing the high. Yeah. I'm not chasing the same how they chase. What will they have to do to keep the long, to have the longevity that you've had? And that you continue to Man, work just, on too. Just stay focused and stay in the studio. Stay working. Stay grounded. Stay humble. Keep making money and stack it high as you can stack it. No matter what anyone around you say. I is, like that. Is there a next plan for you? Uh, man, the next plan is just. Man, just continue to um. Mm-hmm. My my next plan really is just to make business deals outside music. Yeah, yeah, that that that's that uh in your sleep money too though. Yeah, I just like making business deals outside music to make the same money that music make. Do you wear the same thing twice? Rare. Yeah. What it's do rare. you do with your clothes? I give it away to my neighborhood. No, I go back to my dope. hood and give it away. We gotta so you might see jackets and everything with Gucci on. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, like, look at this dude my right whole here. Hood got Gucci. Man, I say this jacket for thirteen dollars. Every, every, yeah. you, no lie. Everybody from my hood, you go to my hood, you are gonna see Balenciagas on everybody. You are gonna see Gucci on everybody. Whatever name brand designers, you are gonna see it on everyone in my neighborhood. How, how important is the look, too? You know what I'm saying? Because when we look at you, I know that that's future. Mm-hmm. It always been a look for me. Even when I used to stand on the block, I was mm-hmm. fresh. Go ahead now. I used to go to school, I was a fresh. What do you hear the most when people see you in person and meet you for the first time? When you taller like, than what I thought. Yeah. <laughs> like when, when, when you came in, I was like, man, how tall are you? Yeah, yeah. They always, you taller than what I thought. I thought our artists were short. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, He's like, not me. Yeah, yeah. Not, not me. Now, get, get in here. All right. Future, thank you for coming thank in today. Thank you for having Hanging out with us, man. You got to come and hang out with us again. You know what I'm saying? Let's not make it another 10 years. For sure. All right. Sure. What you doing tomorrow? Uh, tomorrow I got to take a flight. I'm going to dinner. All Vir- right, well, uh, Virgil, din- Virgil having a dinner in oh, New York. Oh, Virgil. All right. Well, yeah, just stop okay. by tomorrow morning before you get on the plane, yeah. man. Let's hang some out again. Flights, please. I'm having a premiere tonight. I for know. The, for the documentary. Yeah. Then after I leave the documentary, I'm heading Personally, on. invite me. Leave it. You got to come. Okay, I'll be there. The whole squad. Oh, everyone there, there got to well, come. Well, it doesn't sound as precious now. I agenda. Everyone be having their own agenda, so... It's cool if you can't show up. Thank you. Thank you anyway. All right. There it is, man. Future in the neighborhood, big boy neighborhood.